Science Terrific Day to you kids. Together, we will explore, discover, and find answers to the mysteries of the world through science. I am your science teacher, Diane. A Science Terrific Day to you kids. Together, we will explore, discover, and find answers to the mysteries of the world through science. I am your science teacher, Diane. Today, we will learn about the different phases of the moon. Are you excited? Let's go! Join me! Let's enter the kingdom where fun and exciting experiences are about to happen. Before we start, please stand for our prayer. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. Bless us, help us to be more attentive, patient, and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us. Bless our beloved country, that we may have unity, peace, and prosperity. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's proceed to our science trivia. Did you know that the moon is actually dark? Compared to the night sky, it appears very bright, with a reflectance just slightly higher than that of worn asphalt. Its gravitational influence produces the ocean tide body tides and slight lengthening of the yesterday our topic is all about typhoon i have a question what happened to a community after a typhoon yes very good houses and other properties can be destroyed what else? Well said. Trashes could be seen everywhere. Oops! Where are we now? We are in the sky. We are going to explore the beauty of the night sky. What can you see in the sky, children? Yes, there are. Stars. There is a moon. So what activities did you do when the moon shines bright at night? You are playing outside when the moon shines bright at night. 
Does the moon look the same every time you look at it? No. The moon appears in different shape every time you look at it. I will be slashing scrambled words on the screen. Guess what the word is. Are you ready? Great! What word is this? It is Faces of the Moon. Did you get it? Faces of the Moon. Next word. What word is this? Great! Revolution. Again, Revolution. Next word. It is Waxing. Again, Waxing. Next word. What word is this? Winging. Very good. The word is winging. Before we start with our lesson, I'd like you to think of this question. What are the different faces of the moon? This time, we are going to watch a video presentation on the different faces of the moon. Are you ready? Are you excited? Great! So, but before that, children, let me remind you of the different guidelines in watching the video. Number one, observe physical distancing. Number two, listen attentively. Number three, take down important notes. And number four, avoid unnecessary noise while watching the video. Did you get it? Great! So let's watch the video. Our topic for today is phases of moon. The moon revolves around the Earth in a fixed orbit. The moon does not have its own light. gives light to the moon. When the moon is between the earth and the sun, we cannot see the moon at all. This is because the side of the moon facing the earth does not get sunlight. This is called the new moon. After two to three days, we can see some part of the moon. This phase is called the waxing crescent. As the moon is gaining light, that is, expanding in illumination, we use the term waxing. About a week after the new moon, we can see half of the moon. This phase is called first quarter. Two 
two or three days after the first quarter, more than half of the moon is visible. This phase is called the waxing gibbous. About two weeks after the new moon, we can see the full moon. This is because the full side of the moon facing the Earth gets sunlight. Now, the moon begins its return journey from the full moon to the new moon. The next phase is called the waning gibbous. As the moon is now losing light, that is, decreasing in illumination, we use the term waning. The next phase is the last quarter, followed by the waning crescent. When the moon comes back between the Earth and the Sun, it enters the new moon phase again. Number of days between two new moons is 29, as the moon takes approximately 29 days to revolve once around the Earth. These changing shapes of the moon are called phases of the moon. When the moon is between the sun and the earth, you cannot see the moon. It is called new moon. During this phase, the moon is not visible from the earth. It is because the side of the moon that is facing the earth is not being lit by the sun. About a week after the new moon, you see half of the lighted side of the moon. This is called the first quarter. A week after the first moon, you can see the whole lighted side of the moon. This is called a full moon. A full moon appears as an entire circle in the sky. On the third week of the month, you can see half of the moon's lighted part. This is called last quarter moon. Soon, the moon disappears again. Another new moon appears. When the moon is in between the appearance of the quarter moon and new moon, the moon is called crescent. Crescent moon is less than half lit. When the moon is in between quarter moon and full moon, the moon is called gibbous. Gibbous moon is more than half lit. The moon goes through these eight phases. 
in 29 and one half days. The period it takes the moon to complete is called month. Now, let's have our group activity. But before we go on, let me share to you the different rules in doing the group activity. Number one, make sure you have a leader, reporter, and a writer. Number two, everybody should participate within the group. Number three, do not talk when someone is talking. Number four, make sure that everybody is attentive. Number five, observe physical distancing. Put on your face mask. Last, number six, you only have five minutes to answer the activity. Group one, your activity is named Flip It Up. This is the direction. Show the different faces of the moon using the flip folder. Group 2. Your activity is tick tac tick tac Oh, it's a clock. This is the direction. Fill in the clock with the different phases of the moon. For group 3, your activity is it's cookie time. This is the direction. Show the different faces of the moon using the cookies with black and white cream. smaller. 
Last question number five. What causes the changes in the appearance of the moon? What causes in the changes in the appearance of the moon? Very good. It is the revolution of the moon that causes the changes in the appearance of the moon. Let's have another activity. Study the diagram of the different phases of the moon. Name the different phases of the moon. Okay, let us check your activity. If your answer is new moon, you got it right. If your answer is waxing crescent, you got it right. If your answer is first quarter, you are correct. If your answer is waxing gibbous, you are correct. If your answer is full moon, you got it right. If your answer is waning gibbous, check. If your answer is last quarter, you are correct. Lastly, if your answer is a waning crescent, you got it right. Good job, children! You did it great! Now, we are going to watch again another video clip on the faces of the moon. Please be reminded, on the guidelines in watching the video. Now, we are going to apply what we have learned from our lesson today. You are going to identify what phase of the moon I am going to show you on the screen. First picture, what phase is this? This is the new moon. Next phase, this is the waxing crescent. Next phase, what is this? The first quarter. Next phase, what is this? The waxing gibbous. Next phase, what is this? The full moon. Very good. Next phase, it is the waning gibbous. Next phase, it is the last quarter or the third quarter. And the last phase, it is the waning crescent. So, good job, children. Before we end our lesson, let's try to test yourself. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which face of the moon appears very dark that you cannot see the moon at all? A. New moon B. Full moon C. Last quarter. D. First quarter. Number two. A week after the new moon, we can see half of the moon. What do we call this phase of the moon? A. First quarter. B. Full moon. C. Gibbous moon. D. Crescent moon. Number 3. This is when the moon appears to be completely brightened by the sunlight. What phase of the moon is this? A. Full moon B. New moon C. Quarter moon D. Crescent moon Number 4. 
this face of the moon appears like a letter C. What face of the moon is this? A. Crescent moon B. Quarter moon C. Gibbous moon D. Full moon Number 5 What causes the changes in the faces of the moon? A. Revolution of the moon around the earth B. Rotation of the earth on its axis C. Numbers of the stars that appears every night or D. Appearance of constellations in the northern hemisphere Are you done? Let's check your answer whether they are correct Number 1 If your answer is letter A New moon you are correct. New moon is the face of the moon that you cannot see the moon at all. Moon appears very dark. 2. If your answer is letter A, first quarter, you are correct. First quarter is the face of the moon that we can see half of the moon. Half of the moon is being illuminated. Number 3. If your answer is letter A, full moon, you are correct. During full moon, moon appears completely brightened by the sunlight. Lastly, number 5. If your answer is letter A, Revolution of the moon around the earth. Perfect! You got it right! You got it perfect! The changes in the appearance of the moon is caused by the revolution of the moon around the earth. Did you get a perfect score? Wow! Let's clap for ourselves! You did a great job! For your assignment, look at the moon at night with your family and draw what you see. Label what face of the moon you see. That's the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned something new today. I am your science teacher, Diane. Always make a study happy. Bye-bye!